Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to do a quick unboxing and review of one of the most popular augmented reality glasses or mixed reality glasses from Xreal. It was previously called as Nreal, but it has now been changed to Xreal. So we'll see what is there inside the box, what are the functions and features which this has to offer. And in the end, we'll determine if it is really useful to buy one of these glasses for you guys. So ensure that guys, you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, when you first purchase the box, it comes in this black covered box. As you know, this is a mixed reality or augmented reality glasses or AR glasses. It is made from Xreal. So that is what you have as a branding onto the top. Then onto this side, there is nothing. Onto the other side, you have the glasses logo. That is what their logo is. And onto the back side, it says as air because this is X real augmented reality air glasses. So that is what it is called. So you have an air branding onto the back. Let's see onto the top. Onto the top side, there is nothing. Let's see onto the other side. Onto the other side, you can see you have a branding which is X real. The brand name is X real. The name is air. So this the model number is NR7100RGL. Input voltage that it takes is 5 volt, 1 ampere. Manufacturer of mixed reality technology dot co dot limited. So that is what the manufacturer is called. You have an address. It is made in China and you have some certification information. That is what you have onto the top of the box. Let's quickly open the box and see the contents inside. So to open the box, you have a flip to open here onto the sides. Let's quickly open this. Now you have to do is slide the sides just like this and you have a box inside. There's nothing onto the top cover so we'll keep that aside. So inside the top cover you have another box which is a black box as you can see. You have an opening onto the side that is how you open the box. It's a nice simple black box as you can see there is nothing onto the top of the box. This is made out of cardboard. So let's quickly open this. All you have to do is flip like this and it will write open and it will unfold as well. Onto the top you can see you have some instructions, guidelines and warranty cards and user manual along with the cleaning cloth that it comes with. You have a QR code and a user manual on how to use it, how to connect it and things like that which I'll be explaining in this video. If you want to go through this manual, you can go through it. I'll keep it aside. And then you have the augmented reality glasses coming in this packaging. You can see it's a pill like packaging. So that is how your augmented reality glasses comes in. So we'll keep this aside and we'll look at this later. Let's see what else is there inside the box. So onto the top, there is nothing more. Onto the bottom, there are a few more things. So let's open this just like this. And then you have the nose piece. You have a smaller nose piece and a larger nose piece. That is what it comes with. So let's take them out. We'll see them later as well. So the normal nose piece, which is installed by default on the glasses is medium size. You have a small size and a large size nose piece that is there inside the box. If you want, you can switch it to have a comfortable experience. Other than this, it comes with the prescription glass holder. So if you are using a prescription glasses, you can get it made from any optician, uh, which is available locally. So they can cut the lenses to this size. So this comes as uh, an additional attachment as well. So you would not need to wear an additional glasses whenever you're wearing the augmented reality glasses that would work as a prescription glass as well. So this is what it is used for. So we'll keep this aside as well. And the last thing that comes inside the box is the top side cover. So as to make your augmented reality glasses very similar to VR glasses, which is covered from the top. So this comes as a top side cover of the glasses so that you do not uh, visually see outside world and you have a clear and darker picture. So that is what it is used for. This is all made out of plastic. So that is what you have inside the box. Let's quickly see one by one each of these components. So let's start with the paperwork first. As you can see, it comes 
as a user manual it comes in several languages as you can see so depending upon the region you will have the information available in your local region and by default it is also available in english so here inside the manual you can see it comes with proper diagram on how to connect your augmented reality glasses how to connect and remove the cable what the case is used for what are the buttons used for i'll go all of these in details as you can see uh, you have the glasses and the connection here to the cable and then you have the nose piece and your eyes are going to view just like this outside the glasses and you will see the surrounding as well as the picture which is being projected onto your glasses so that is how it works and then you have the nose piece removal as well so you can change and remove the nose piece so that as to adjust it onto your nose so that it sits comfortably and you don't feel the pressure and then it talks about the prescription glasses setup as well how to set this up which we'll see here together as well and then what it says that it, it can be used with a laptop mobile or your gaming console and it projects around 130 inch of screen which you will see inside the glasses and then it also says that you can adjust the angle of the ear rest that you have onto the glasses from 3.5 degree plus to minus 3.5 degrees so that is also something really nice so that your glasses sits comfortably onto your face and then you have safety guidelines and instructions this you can go through it so that is what you have inside the user manual and then you have get ready use air so x real air application if you want to scan this you can scan this and register your glasses onto nreal or xreal application so that is what it is used for we'll keep this aside for now so the next thing in the list is the black microfiber cloth that it came with so as to be able to clean your glasses so that is what it is used for we'll keep this aside as well the next thing in the list is the nose pieces as you can see the nose piece on the top is made out of silicone so it is really comfortable onto your nose and you would not feel the pressure onto the top side here you can see it is mentioned as l so this is large nose piece and this is marked with s so this is a smaller nose piece and the one which is installed by default as i have told you before onto your glasses is the medium so it comes with three nose pieces large medium and small medium one is already installed onto your glasses so that is what it is used for this is made out of steel and the nose piece is really soft as i have told you before this is made out of silicon so that is how it looks like we'll in a minute see how to change them just in case if you want to change them so we'll keep this aside as well so the next thing that is included is your prescription glass attachment as you can see here onto the top this is a metal plate which is going to be attached onto your augmented reality glasses and then you have two lenses which is replaceable as of now this is with the zero power uh, as you can see it is screwed here with the phillips screw so you can unscrew it and give it to your optometrist locally and they will cut the prescription glasses in these sizes and will make the holes just like this and they will give it back to you so that you can install it onto this attachment so whenever you wear the augmented reality glasses you would not need to use your prescription glasses in addition to it so it is going to be a very slim profile glass which you would be wearing so that is what it is used for in a minute we'll see how to install it onto your glasses as well so we'll keep this aside and the next thing in the list that it comes with is this black shade or your mask that it came with so that you can install it onto the front side of the glass we'll see in a minute how to install this what basically this will do it will convert your augmented reality glasses or mixed reality glasses into a vr glass so that you don't see an outside world and you will have an immersive experience of your augmented reality glasses you would not see your surroundings so that is what it is used for and also blocking the light from the front so that you have better contrast and better visibility inside the glasses of whatever the content that you are viewing this is just made out of plastic it looks sturdy but there is no magnetic latch to it so it will be attached by friction so that is what it seems like so we'll see in a minute how to use them 
Now let's quickly see the glasses itself. As you can see, this comes in this nice cover. As you can see, this is all rounded. So whenever you keep it like this, it's gonna move. As it is not flattened at the bottom, so it rolls around whenever you keep it onto the desk, but then it stops at a place where you get this uh, notch, so it's not gonna move too much. But yes, it will not stay at its place. Onto the top of the cover, as you can see, you have an air logo. And then onto the bottom, there is nothing. This is normal black cover. This is hardened, so whenever you put it inside the bag, it's not gonna squeeze your glasses or anything, so it's gonna protect it well. So this is something really nice. So let's quickly open this and see the glasses inside. Once you first open the cover, you can see inside the cover, this is all covered with the nice smooth fabric. So this is not gonna scratch your glasses. And you have your glasses itself. We'll keep this aside for now. And then onto the bottom side of the glass cover, you have another compartment, which you can lift it up. And there you have additional accessories. And then you have a small plastic, just like this. This is used to change the nose pin. So we'll see in a minute how to do that. So that is all you have inside the cover. This is all nicely made, sturdy. And something really nice is that you have another compartment inside the glass cover itself where you can insert the cable and you can save it as well. It is separate from the compartment of the glasses. So it's not gonna scratch it as well. So this is also something really nice. So this is what you have. So let's keep the cover aside and let's see the components. So this is the cable that it came with. So as you can see, there is a marking onto the top where you can see the angled one is going to go onto the glasses and the other part of the cable is going to go onto the device. In this case, it is a phone. So that is what it is. So let's quickly open this attachment and you can see here you have USB type C cable on both the sides. One side is straight, which is going to go onto your devices to transmit the video signal and the other side is angled at 45 degree which is going to be connected to your glasses. So this is a nice cable sturdily made. This is made out of fabric as you can see. So this is well protected cable and the, the length is around one meter. So it's not a long cable so it is not supposed to be connected to a long distance devices. This is something which you carry something like phone or something for others you would need an extension or conversion as you can see this is usb type c cable so any phone or devices which are compatible with usb type c video output is going to be able to connect to the glasses directly otherwise you would need an hdmi to usb type c converter adapter which we will see in my future videos so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos so for now, we are going to just see how does it perform. So this is USB type C cable. Uh, all the new phones and your laptop, which has USB type C will be compatible with this glasses. So that is what it, you can use it for. So let's keep this aside for now. Another thing, like I told you before, this is a square metal plate, which is used to take out your nose pieces and your prescription glass attachment. So that is what it is used for. We'll see in a minute how to use it. This is small little plastic like material, but it seems like a metal. It's really lightweight. I cannot tell whether it is a plastic or metal, but it seems like metal. So this is something really nice that it came with. So let's and keep this aside for now and let's see the glasses itself. So this is the glass that it came with. This is little heavy for normal sunglasses for sure. But I think all the weight is on the arms which are really, really thick arms as you can see. So these are the arms which seems to be heavy. And here you can see the nose piece is here already attached. As I have told you before, these are medium size nose pieces which would fit most of the people so which is why it was installed just in case you have small nose or larger nose you can change the attachment from smaller to larger depending upon the comfort that you have and then you have the glasses 
This is the augmented glasses. It is covered with a plastic which you can remove it. We'll remove it in a minute and we'll see how does it look like, how does the glass works. On to the front side, as you can see, these are just like black shade glasses, which is semi-transparent. Uh, it's transparent, but it is semi-reflective, as I would say, so as to have a better visibility of your augmented reality content that you're going to view. On to the top side, when you see closer, you can see there are two OLED screens as you can see behind this cover. These are the OLED screens which are lit up. These are 1080p OLED screen which are going to project it onto your glasses which is reflected from the back surface onto the front surface and that front surface partially reflects the light onto your eyes. That is how you see your augmented reality. Since it is transparent from the front so you will be able to see other things which is available or present in your surrounding it's not blocking anything but you will be able to see the screen as well from both the sides those are two independent lcds so this glass you can use it for 3d movies and things like that or you can use it for watching 3d movies 3d content from youtube and things like that these kind of contents can also be consumed from this glasses which is something really nice here you have the power button and you have uh, one rocker button to increase or decrease the brightness so that is what it is used for and then you have the speaker grill which is going to be pointed towards the direction of your ear so as to be able to hear the content I would recommend to use any Bluetooth headphones instead to have clarity as these kind of sounds will always leak and would not have a good quality sound for sure. But that is a nice attachment to be present. If you do not have the headphones, you can at least hear the content from this speaker grill. This is pointed on to the bottom side, so it will be near your ears and will not be bleeding too much to the neighbors. But definitely if somebody is sitting on very close to you will be able to hear the content from this glasses so that is what it is like i have told you before the side arm is able to be moved from plus 3.5 degrees to minus 3.5 degrees just by moving like this you will hear the cracking sound it is three position and it stays at its position so which is also something really nice and both sides can be individually controlled so as you can see this is cracking sound this cracking sound means it is switching from one position to another and it stays it's really sturdy it's not gonna move when you're wearing the glasses it's not loose it's just that whenever you put little pressure to change the direction and it will be able to align the arms of the glasses so that it fits to your face really easily this is something you would need as well because these glasses are not going to be flush to your eyes it's not going to be super close you have to wear it at an, at an angle so that you can see it properly and since you have a thickness onto the top it's not going to sit straight but from the front look as you would see would not uh, give you an impression that you are wearing an occument reality glasses but definitely because of the transparency of the glass you will be able to see that there is another glass inside so that is something somebody has to notice would know but in general you can wear it and move around and people will not know if you're wearing an augmented reality glass or not so here onto the top you have the sensor so this sensor is the detection that whether you are wearing the glasses or not so whenever you wear the glasses onto the face this is going to be covered by the forehead or your nose so that is how the glasses would know that the screen has to be turned on and you are consuming the content so that's what it is used for so these are all the components or features available as of now on to these glasses let's quickly see how to con change the nose piece and also attach the prescription glasses to change the nose piece as you can see here is the metal plate which is attached onto the body and there is a piece which is going inside so as you can see for another nose piece that I have this is the part that is inserted inside and then you have a notch as you can see on the side which 
locks it inside this uh, top cover that it has so to take it out you would need this tool from one of the sides just push it behind the metal plate and then gently try to take this out push it all the way to the down so that your ejection tool is all the way down and then try to lift it up just like this just like this it comes out and then you can replace it with the another one here you can see at the bottom you have a hole that is where your nose pin notch is being attached so all you need to do is change it for now this is medium size that i have for now it is marked with m so that's how i know the size put it in the right direction and press it and you will hear the clicking sound that's how you know your nose pin is attached properly so that's how you change the nose pin so guys just in case you want to use this prescription glass attachment i'll tell you how to attach it as well as you can see on the prescription glass attachment you have a space here and then there is a notch onto the top so between the notch there is a space and then you have a nose pin here all you need to do is push the nose pin the flat part this flat part is going to go between the notches that you have just like this and it will slide right in just like this you see it comes out and then you have a metal plate that is going to sit between the plates of the prescription glass attachment now that both are combined all you need to do is push it back inside the hole and that's how it sits so you have the prescription glass attached right in front of you through which you will be viewing your screens from the behind so that's how guys you attach your prescription glasses onto your augmented reality glass so that's one thing another thing that it came with was the top side shade cover so this cover is supposed to block the light that is coming from the front and it will convert your augmented reality glass into VR glasses. So you will not be able to see any more your surroundings, but it will give you better clarity of the picture, moreover, more brightness and things like that and better contrast. To attach it, all you need to do is push it onto the front and it's gonna stay at its place. It's gonna stay there with the friction just like this so it's gonna hold it at its place and you have the shades just look like this and it will no longer have the light coming from the front and you'll not be able to see your surroundings and it will convert it this glass into your VR glasses where you don't see the background so if you just want to remove it all you have to do is take it out just like this and it's comes out easily how it holds is it holds by friction from the top and the bottom of the glasses so whenever you take out take out just by uh, loosening the top and the bottom grip and it will come out easily so if you want to place it the same thing insert the bottom first and then go on to the top and it will attach it super easily so that's how you attach the front cover as well now to view the content you need to connect the usb type c cable as you can see on one of the side of the arm of your glasses you have usb type c port here what you need to connect is your the angular usb type c n just like this once you have connected onto your arm the other side you can connect it to the phone or any other devices through which you are going to view the augmented reality content so that's how you consume the content on these glasses so let's quickly connect this and see how does it look like so guys for the demo purpose i have my samsung galaxy note 10 plus this is an android phone with usb type c port at the bottom so that is what i'm going to use to show you the demo and how does it look like when you connect any extra peripheral or external video output to this glasses so let's quickly connect that as we have connected the USB type C cable onto one of the end of the glasses. Now we will connect the another end of USB type C port onto your Samsung phone. 
So as you know, as and when you connect your Samsung phone onto your glasses, it will automatically detect as an external display. And then you can use your Samsung phone to navigate through this external display, which is displayed onto your glasses through this icon on the side. So once you click that, it will become the trackpad and then you can move around the mouse using this trackpad and click and open any application. So let's quickly see how does it look like inside the glasses. I will try and do my best to show how does it look like, but definitely in my personal experience, I will tell you the picture quality that looks inside the glasses is super awesome and super crisp. But for some reason, my camera was not able to focus correctly to show you the picture. But uh, honestly, the, uh, the text and the icons are super crisp. As you can see here onto the picture, you can see the Samsung desktop or Samsung Dex as what they call it. So this is how it looks like whenever you look through the glasses. This is like I told you before, this is just a camera pointing onto the glasses. So it might not look like a real experience, but it would look very similar. Uh, this is the Samsung desktop that it looks like. And this is the square image that you see. And then you can see the transparency as well. So you are perfectly aware of where you are and you can see through the glasses. You just have to a little bit focus on what you need to see. If you want to see the screen, you focus on the screen and your brain will automatically see only the screen. And But when you focus to, and try to see through the screen and you can see the background as well. So this is kind of... Uh, it's difficult to explain on the video how does it work but when i try to focus on the screen i could see the screen clearly it is really bright and nice and clear and when i try to see through the screen i can see from the image as well it's semi-transparent it is super bright and it is semi-transparent at the same time to give you the awareness of what where you are and what is in front of you so let's quickly play a video from YouTube to see how does it look like. This is a 4K video playing directly onto the screen or your glasses. So let's quickly see how does the video looks like. Here as you can see the video quality is also super good. There is no jittering, no cluttering and also the image are really really crisp and nice and colorful and bright. So that is how it looks like inside the YouTube video. So this is it guys, uh, this is the unboxing and review of this X-Real AR augmented reality or mixed reality glasses. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about these glasses, do you like it, do you dislike it, your op own opinion on whether you want to buy these glasses and use it. In my future videos guys, I will also do several tests through these glasses and the picture quality and video quality while gaming, while consuming the video content and the text and working as well so please stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos so this is it guys this concludes this video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies